Okay, it has been some time ago that I have published my last video, my last product review, and I'm terribly sorry for that, but COVID-19 forced me to slow down a little bit. So when Colta sent me these two devices at the end of February, well, I didn't have the time and the energy to produce a review immediately. But okay, it's now already April and it's time to shine a light on Calta Technologies. So in this sponsored video, I will tell you very short about the background of the company. And I will focus on eChat and the MR Convergent platform. And I will be quick testing two of their LTE POC devices, the E690 and the E600. With testing, I mean that I will give my personal unbiased review about the design as well of some of the most important functionalities. So without any further ado, let's talk about Kalta first. It could be that you have not yet heard about his brand, so let me update you a little here. Kalta Technologies Co. Limited was originally founded as a subsidiary of ZTE, and that's the name you're probably familiar with. So let's go back to Kalta, the Chinese company. It's a leading provider of integrated professional trunking communication solutions. It delivers value to customers by providing innovative communication solutions, converging all to talk. Well, converging all to talk, Kalta. So located in Shenzhen, Nanjing, Shanghai, Xi'an and Beijing, Kalta staff counts more than 700 people and the company owns over 300 trunking technology patents. And on its website, the company says that it follows national and international standards and has designed and delivered products on 2G, DMR protocol, 4G LTE according to the 3G PP MCP to T standards, ITU B-Trunk solutions as well as eChat POC solutions. This last one, by the way, is an advanced POC push to talk over cellular platform that supports a variety of features and functions. Well, you might think this is not impressive, as nowadays we're talking about 5G and even 6G down the line. Well, hold on, there is more because Kalta is also actively involved in the development of 5G products and solutions and in a recent statement Kalta said that it aims to lead the future of critical communications going forward. So there's much to come. In my eyes this means that a company will have to offer products for a variety of vertical markets just like any other well-respected multinational in the critical communications industry. So when I look at the product portfolio of the company, I can see that they cover a wide variety of vertical markets such as public safety, government, utilities, public transport, etc. So just to give you a little bit of understanding where the company is now, until now, Calta Solutions have been deployed in more than 40 countries, serving over 3 million end users in total. Okay, well, that's all about the company. That's enough about the company. Let's focus now on these two boxes, the E690 and the E600. Let's start with the E690. So the E690 comes nicely packed in a cardboard brown box, together with the battery charger, the charger cable, the robust stubby antenna, and the belt clip, which is easy to snap on in just a few seconds, actually. Once the antenna is screwed on, the battery is installed, you're ready to switch on the radio and to register the radio on the network. For the E600, it's actually the same, you know, battery, charger, uh, antenna, radio, snap it on and you're ready to go. So it was now time to prepare the radios for operation and to find out if the UI, the user interface, is as good as Colta said it is. So in order not to miss any important steps, I received instructions on how to set up the radio and how to go through the menu. So at first glance, the UI offers a very clear interface. It's very user friendly, the different sections are nicely grouped and it's easy to find exactly what you're looking for. There's one little thing, when you go into the settings of the applications, the font is getting much smaller. Uh, so small that I need my pair of glasses to look 
what the names of the different applications are. But that's okay, that's my problem probably. Okay, so let me test the E690 here. Not the E600 because it doesn't have a display. Okay, now when I'm looking at the E690, the challenge is that I do see some reflections. So let me create a video of the road over here. Okay, and this video was shot by the E690. Okay, let me make some pictures. In vertical mode, but I also want to make some pictures in landscape mode. Let's see if that works fine. That also means that I have to test the sound or quality of the device, um, both devices actually. So as you can hear, it's a very busy road. It's a rush hour, it's half past five in the afternoon right now. So a lot of people leaving their office, going home. Eileen, yeah. good morning, how are you? Good morning, I'm fine and you? I'm very well, thank you very much. Uh, I'm testing here the Kalta E690 um, mm. and with a connection to you, right? You're based in China, China. at the Kalta yes. headquarters uh, yes. in Nanjing. Yes, Nanjing. And uh, we're trying to set up the connection through these two POC radios, right? Yes. All right, shall we, shall we go ahead? Yes, let's go. Hi, Lee, this is Captain Wolf from the Netherlands. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? This is my radio. Yes, I'm hearing. Yes, I'm hearing. Well, there is almost, well, there is almost, almost no, delay. no delay. Yes, no yeah. delay. Loud okay. and clear. Loud and clear. All right, thank you so much. Much appreciated. You are welcome. You are welcome. So, okay, let's go over the features and functions of the radio. Basically, the E690 is a sturdy, rugged radio. It's IP68 and the housing feels, where is it actually? Yep, there it is. It feels kind of robust. Of course, the radio has built-in Bluetooth and GPS, like many of the radios nowadays. But the upside is that it has Wi-Fi connection. Um, so you can connect to the network through Wi-Fi. There are currently not many radios that offer this capability. And as an example, L3 Harris just introduced, actually a few weeks ago, uh, a P25 radio combined with Wi-Fi, that's called the XL Connect 95. Another important feature is the bend down function. You can set the interface to five or 10 seconds and decide if you want to let the radio call the dispatcher or if you want the radio to function as an alarm only. And this function is ideal with a combination of the NFC Patrol app. I can see that this radio will be used at airports because of the good sound quality, for example. Um, fire brigades maybe as well, but also in logistics, construction and within municipalities and so on. So as you can see, the E600 is just the opposite of the X690. It's a basic version of the E6 series, actually. The non-keypad, non-display radio has all of the features of his bigger brother, except the camera and the NFC. I expect that this radio is targeted for security, uh, construction sites, industry, and it's just like the other radio, a very sturdy, rugged radio. 
So both radios are ideally suited to communicate on Kota's eChat POC platform, which is a highly scalable communications platform that provides users with voice, video, mapping uh, solutions, dispatch solutions, multimedia, instant messaging, SOS patrol, event reporting. Well, we have come to the end of this review and as you might understand, it's not possible to do a full product review on these two products, these two devices, to talk about the background of the company and to do a full unboxing in only 10 minutes. However, I hope that I was able to provide you with some more background information about Kalta. It's aimed to play a global player in the critical communications industry, its product portfolio, to give you a first glimpse of these new POC devices. Of course, there's always room for improvement. And if you would like to ask me about to, what to improve on those two radios, I will probably suggest you to enhance the quality of the camera. But overall, these two radios are just good radios. They are very rugged. The loudspeaker is loud and clear. They have an intuitive UI and the PTT button as well as the SOS button are ideally placed and are responsive in the way I would expect from a radio like this. For the critical communications industry and end users, it's good to know that the company aims to play a more dominant international role and I look forward to see more development from Kalta during one of the upcoming international events like CC World, IWSE and PMR Expo. By the way, Kalta was exhibiting at last year Digital PMR Expo where they became one of the main sponsors of the event. Okay. But if you wish to know more about the latest DMR developments that are not yet released, please stay tuned on this channel because there will be much more to come. So in the meantime, thank you for watching. I look forward to see you in the next video. Slash product review.